Welcome to another episode of Ask a Physicist, with uh, something a little different this time. I, for one, think that learning, and in particular learning about physics, can be fun. So I compiled a list of all my favorite physics games and gaming sites. They are all online for free, so, well, you should check them out, if you're interested. Really. Um, only the top five are actually worth trying, but, you know, if you make a top ten list, you probably should have ten. Now, I've ranked these games not only on how fun they are, but also on how educational they are. So, here we go. Starting from number ten, I've got for you Plasma Pong. Not exactly an educational game, but an interesting iteration of the game Pong nonetheless employing real fluid dynamics to um, simulate an interesting, well, new kind of ball game. Now, I'm not sure what you can learn from this, but if you're interested in seeing fluid dynamics in action, then this is definitely your thing. Number nine, Black Hole Hunter. Now, this is an area of research I have actually been involved in, and this game will actively introduce you into some of the computational challenges that physicists working in gravitational wave uh, detection have to face. Based on general relativity, we have models predicting what uh, signatures of black hole mergers might look like. And using our gravitational wave telescopes, such as Virgo or LIGO, we should be able to detect these signatures. However, unfortunately, these signatures turn out to be quite faint. So, a great challenge for physicists is to try to uh, figure out a way to distinguish the signatures from the noise. Now, Black Hole Hunter introduces you to this challenge and allows you to uh, try to pick out a waveform containing a gravitational wave signature from one which is merely noise. Now, um, well, give this game a try and then you'll have a rough idea. Now, I like this game because it gives you an actual feel for the type of work physicists have to do. Although, maybe it's not all that fun. Now, number eight, Nuclear Simulator. Now, this game, developed by the University of Manchester, allows you to basically be in charge of the workings of a nuclear reactor. And, ideally, try to keep it uh, producing energy for uh, all the people relying on it. Now, obviously, the first thing you probably want to try to do it is have it blow up. That is not possible unfortunately, but nevertheless, what I quite like about this game is that when you start to mess up, uh, the game will start making some scary eerie noises. So as far as suspense games go, I quite like it. On number 7, Pet Colorado. Now this is not a physics game per se, but a website full of physics-based simulations, um, which are really quite interesting. Now this site has simulations based on planetary orbits, uh, nuclear power generation, nuclear chain reactions, wave dynamics, um, thermodynamics, and all sorts of things, and I really recommend you try some of them out. A personal favorite of mine, namely John Travoltich teaches you all about electrical charge generation and release. So definitely check that one out. Number six, Particle Clicker. Again, not so much a game that emerges you in the intricacies of physical processes, but rather one that teaches you about the nature of the work that physicists do. It is essentially a simulation of what it means to be a particle physicist. You might as well have called it CERN Tycoon. 
In this game, you are effectively introduced into the work of running a particle accelerator, making scientific findings, collecting funds, hiring students and staff, upgrading your accelerator and all sorts of things, and eventually make great scientific breakthroughs, like discovering the Higgs boson. It's an interesting game, and if you enjoy endlessly clicking on a schematic of a particle detector, then it's definitely for you. Number 5. Planet Collider. Now this game introduces you to the dynamics of planetary systems and how long and in particular how long certain arrangements are stable. Now the purpose of this game is to build a stable planetary system with uh, the greatest possible amount of planetary mass. Now this is challenging because the more planets you add and the heavier these planets are, the more likely they are to interact with each other gravitationally and to destabilize the system. As soon as any of your planets are thrown out beyond a certain radius, um, you fail the game. The longer you keep your planets in your system and the heavier they are, the greater your score gets. Give it a try. Number 4. A slower speed of light. This game was developed by people from MIT and it introduces you to uh, certain aspects of the science of special relativity. Now in this game you run around in some abstract space and as you collect funny looking orbs in this space, the speed of light which is a universal constant, slows down. Now, what this means is that all the crazy effects of special relativity, which you would only, which you would normally only observe when traveling at really great speeds, now become apparent to you even as you're just running around. For example, uh, the Doppler effect will now readily happen when you walk towards or away from something and colors will shift to red or blue depending on whether you walk away or towards them. Now as you keep collecting more orbs the light, the speed of light will keep slowing down and eventually other effects will come into play such as the searchlight effect. This basically means that if you move uh, fast enough to, relative to the speed of light, photons which would have uh, normally missed your eye will now reach your eye and the resulting image you see will seem quite distorted. Well, if you're interested in the optical effects of relativity then this game is definitely something you should check out. I should stress that this game does not actually teach you about the objective physical effects of relativity, such as time dilation and length contraction. However, there is a very interesting game that does. On number three, I have Velociraptor. Now, in this game, you playing a Velociraptor that, I don't know, has to save a princess or something. But, um, and apparently he can run close to the speed of light or something, so uh, when he runs through the mazes and such, the effects of special relativity start taking hold. And um, depending on how he's running, space contracts, stretches, and time dilates. This leads to some interesting game dynamics, as depending on how you move, certain spaces might contract in front of him, making it harder to pass through. The Doppler effect will also play a role in this game, sadly in a quite inconsistent fashion since we're not actually seeing the world from the Velociraptor's perspective, so really the color shouldn't change, and only certain elements seem to be affected by it. But nevertheless, an interesting game, and if you want to get a better feel 
for the physics of relativity, then you should definitely give it a try. Now for, to the top two, and two all-time favorites of mine. At number two, Quantum Minigolf. Now this game does an exceptionally good job at introducing you to the difference between classical and quantum physical objects through the medium of minigolf. In a classical minigolf game, the ball would always go where you hit it, with no ambiguity. Whereas, of course, the wave function of a quantum minigolf would be indetermined until you measure it. Thus, in this very clever game, as soon as you hit the golf ball, it will turn into its wave function, and it will only solidify again when you try to measure its position. Now, since it's a quantum object, there is a probability that it could be anywhere on the golf course, but seeing that its probability is determined by the wave function, um, depending on when you measure it, you may have a greater chance of finding it at the hole. So, if you aim well and you manage to distribute the wave function of the golf ball near the hole and measure at that point, you have a high chance of finding it there. Alternatively, you can simply wait till the wave function has completely dissipated and have an equal probability of finding the golf ball anywhere on the course. Well, there'd still be a chance of winning the game then. So yeah, if you're interested in the physics of quantum objects and the observer effect, then this is definitely a game for you. Now, my number one is not only a great physics game, but also a physics game based on the area of physics that I myself work in. And it's of course the magnetic minigolf. Like number two on my list, this is a mini golf based game, but uh, with a twist that it uses the laws of electrodynamics. Now, what you should know is that the presence of electric and magnetic fields influence the motion of charged particles. Therefore, if you try to move the charged particles through a golf course, you have to take account of them and direct it accordingly. The combination of an electric and magnetic field, for example, will result in what's known as an E cross B drift, and you need to account of that if you want to get your particle into the hole. Now, as you progress through the game, you'll also be confronted with uh, examples of plasma physics and particle dynamics in the Earth's magnetosphere, which are an active field of research and will give you a good idea of what plasma physicists actually do for a living. So I think this is a great introduction into interesting and relevant fields of physics. At each challenge, the specific laws you need to be aware of in order to complete the course are explained. So this game does not only require skill, but also learning, and thus I think is the perfect game to take the top of the list. Now, uh, that was my shortlist, and I hope you'll find it helpful. Let me know what you think of these games, and also, if you know any others which you think should have been in the list, please let me know. I'd love to check them out. And that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.